the BBC's investigative program, Panorama, named Cod co-principal Moses Wetangula as having been among influential office holders involved in a bribery ring allegedly run by officials of British American Tobacco. Panorama reported that BAT requested the purchase of business class return air ticket to London in July 2012. In the program, Wetangula denied the claims. First of all, I'm embarrassed to hear that. I'm upset to hear that. And I will take action against anybody who is brewing such a crude room against me. The threat to sue then is one he repeats against BBC as well after the British broadcaster went ahead and aired the program, backing their report with documents they say implicated the Bungoma senator. I have accordingly instructed my lawyers and my lawyer, senior counsel James Orengo, is here with me to take up legal action against any media house, starting with the BBC. Yet, Jubilee Alliance leaders appear to have found an opportunity to corner Wetangula over his alleged involvement in graft, asking him to walk the talk and step aside in light of the allegations against him, just as he has demanded for the resignation of officers in government implicated in graft. We demand that he stands by the same principle. Yet this is not the only headache that Wetangula has to contend with. His political future currently hanging in the balance of the IEBC as the commission has to decide whether or not to remove him from the register of voters. This unfolding situation now threatens Wetangula's political lifeline and election into political office come 2017. Jackie Maribe, Citizen Business Centre, Nairobi.